Welcome to the channel, human. My name is Terrence. A group of divers find themselves in deep trouble with a drug lord after they come upon the illicit cargo of a sunken airplane. This movie stars Paul Walker as Jarrett. Rest in peace to Paul Walker. <sighs> Jessica Alba as Sam. Ashley Scott as Amanda. Scott Can as Bryce. And Josh Brolin as Bates. Man, the fact that you have Thanos in this movie, you, you got to see what the Bates character does. Because there's just something shady about that dude. As I was seeing him throughout the movie, like here and there, I was like, I don't quite trust that motherfucker. He got this whole, he's so nice that he can't be that nice kind of vibe about him. And I was just thinking that every time I saw him, I was like, you are one of them shady motherfuckers. And um, you have uh, Jarrett and Sam. And look, the Jessica Alba, she looked good as fuck. Like, I'm, I'm just going to be real. Her character's name is Sam. I don't give a fuck what her name is if she looks like Jessica Alba. Her name could be Bob, and she would still get the dick. Um, so you have uh, Jarrett and Sam. You know, they're looking for treasure and shit. they divers. They're hoping to come across a bunch of treasure, so that way they never have to worry about anything else in their lives. They can go anywhere they want, afford whatever they want. And uh, Jared's friend Bryce shows up. And, and this guy, like Bryce is not necessarily a bad guy, but he can be full of shit at times. You know, he's that guy that shows up like, yep, you know, I got the money. <laughs> I got money for days. And then he'd be broke as fuck. Like this shit is weird because he doesn't have to lie about stuff like that. That's how you get yourself in these hairy situations. And then when Bryce comes, he brings Amanda, played by Ashley Scott, and she looked pretty good herself. I mean, you know, I'd definitely give her the dick too. So you got a lot of beautiful individuals in this movie. But she comes along and Amanda is like one of those individuals where she's fun to have around. You know, she likes to party and drink. You know what I'm saying? She likes to suck the dick and everything. However, she's not one of those individuals that you can trust. You know what I mean? Like when it comes to stuff where you got to, mm, mm, like just shut the fuck up and don't say nothing, I don't know, you, Ashley, one of those individuals where you're like, we, we don't want to include her in anything that we find or anything that we hear about because she gonna run her goddamn mouth, she's like one of those characters, and uh, we see that when uh, Jarrett and uh, Sam, Amanda, and Bryce, when they come across this, um, this drug the drugs when they come across the drugs it's a whole lot of drugs i mean it's like cocaine for days like that clearly was meant to go to some kind of drug lord like just waiting like on like a golden chair for his drugs and if he don't get them and he finds out that somebody else got them then it's gonna be like him showing up with an army and then he's just gonna be getting shot up for days until the end of time like you will understand the concept of pain by the time he's done with you so I was like, no, see, that, that should be a golden rule. Funny, golden rule, they looking for treasure. But the point is, that should be a golden rule. If you find a bunch of treasure, if you find a bunch of money, a bunch of drugs, cocaine, or whatever the fuck it is, if it's in like a large quantity, that's probably a red flag. I mean, sometimes you might be okay, but it's one of those things like when you find it, you got to immediately look over your shoulder and see if somebody got the, you know, the sniper on you, and then you're going to get shot up and shit, and they're going to shoot you in the leg, and then they're going to carry you back to their fortress, and then that, that's when you just get your shit wrecked. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horse shit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this movie a 5.5 a out of 10. Like, this is not a good movie, but it's interesting, and uh, some of that interest comes from watching Jessica Alba swim, you know what I'm saying? She doing her thing in the water. She walking around in the bikini and shit. And, you know, uh, Ashley Scott is doing her thing in the in the bikini, jumping in the water. There's some interest there. But then there's also a little bit of interest in the whole, okay, they looking for treasure. They've clearly come across a lot of cocaine. The drug lord is either around or he's going to show up and start wrecking their shit. It's just a matter of time. So you got to decide what you're going to do. Are you going to be dumb as fuck and go, we can sell it. Like, like you just going to be able to get away with that shit without the, the fucking drug lord showing up and, and wrecking your shit. I mean, what's the point of having money you know, and, and all these riches if you ain't going to be able to spend it because you're going to be dead as fuck? I'm just saying, you got to be thinking about shit like this when you're in this situation, you know? 
And there's a lot of things in this movie where you can see our main characters could have avoided so much if they would have just walked the fuck away. You know what I'm saying? If, if, you, if they just would have left it alone, it would have been fine. But nope, you need a plot. So they had to do a lot of stupid shit. And I feel like out of um, Jared, Sam, Amanda, and Bryce, you know, Jared was the smartest. You know what I'm saying? And then Sam, she was like the second smartest. Because I feel like Jared was just like, man, uh, we could do a lot with this, but it's not worth it. And then Bryce was on the whole, are you out your mind, Jared? You, you, you could buy a new boat with this. You could buy a new house. Just stop fucking up, Jared. This is money. We clearly sell, sell this to motherfuckers we know that do drugs. We're going to make all kinds of money. You got to think about the long run. And it's like, uh, ain't going to be no long run if we dead as fuck, Bryce. And then Amanda, she pretty much just does whatever Bryce wants. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he makes some suggestions, she'll listen to him most of the time. But then we see that she kind of, certain things she's not agreeing with. But I feel like, you know, Bryce gave her some good dick to where, you know, she'll listen to certain things if it means that she can come up on something like I said, you can't really trust Amanda, you know what I'm saying? She's a good time, and she probably rides the dick really good. But other than that, man, you can't trust that bitch. Thank you for being here, human. You be sure to like this video, share it with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. Click the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Terrence out.